Oh, it started. Hello, everyone. Look, it's me. It's Matt. I'm in my studio here. I'm making puppets. And this one, this is going to be a, a, a puppet here. I've made it. I'm experimenting. It's going to be a Bunraku puppet. It's got wooden joints like this. These are his little legs. I think it might be a little bit far apart. I've made this nice snake. You know when those, those things, like a sort of snaky spine like that? I'm about to put it into this big foam block, so I thought I'd show you, you know... Because we may never see it again. It might be a bit pointless, I'm not sure. But uh, I've made it and it's going in there. It's got some, it's going to be, it's going to get, it's going to be like, like a, anyway, let's put him inside and then uh, we'll talk to you later. Look, I've been making, carving these poly, poly blocks. Look, that's going to be. Okay, here she is. This is the new Wiener puppet. Wiener from the time machine. She's meant to be a female. Um, woman of the future, quite simple, not particularly intellectual, childlike, curious, but not uh, not stupid, or a bimbo. Let's sand her down, and we'll paint her, and we'll see how she comes out. Here he is. This is going to be the uh, Morlock King, Lapis Lazuli. He's uh, hanging up here. We're going to cover him in some uh, latex, some kind of you know greeny, and um, with some. You know, using some muslin like that, and he's going to go on, uh, he's going to cover that like that, and we've got to put a kind of hood on top. Then uh, this is the big wiener, that's the big, big wiener, and then there's the little, little wiener. Got to sand her down, dear, oh dear, not too sure I did the right thing about that. Anyway, see you later. Hello. What I'm doing now is I'm making this cardboard frame. This is going to be for the, the Morlock King's head, and it's, it's, I want to make it just like this is ideal, I know, but... Can you see all the way around it? And I'm going to cover it in foam and then it's going to be a... Uh, that's what I'm doing today. There you are, right Alfonso. Those sandals need to appear in section 39, right? And the two of us in section 321 are hoping the standards are slipping around here and I'm no happy about it, all right? <laughs> okay, you've got that, Pierre. I'm watching you, Paul. <laughs> Test video. That's what yeah, we're doing now, Wiener. Really. Test video. This is uh, this is showing what it would look like with footlights on the on the oh, little table. Is that a footlight? There? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of spooky, isn't it? Does it show up on me? It shows up on you. Yes. Does uh, it show how many chins? It could maybe point a bit a bit higher up mm. like that. It could be maybe. Can I jump? No, don't just, jump, don't jump. I'm going to stop I'm it now. I'm just learning I'm... about my body. What that is is a kind of cardboard frame I've made, uh, around which I've created this amazing, well, amazing. It's not quite finished. This is going to be the giant butterfly head mask. Look at that, it's foam. You can tell what these are. And, uh, and then I'm going to cover it. It'll be sort of collapsible. I'll cover it in something. Uh, but what I'm going to have to do once I've finished this is cut out these bits of cardboard and remove it. And um, that was going to be a headpiece. Anyway, let's see what happens next. This is Wiener's butterfly. And it's, I'm, I'm videoing it like this. It'll. Uh, there it is. It's on a stick, and look, you've got a... Well, you can't see how it works. Look, it's got a little thing there, and it goes up here. And it pulls these together. And that makes its wings flap like that. And what we'll do is we're going to have a torch on here, so it'll fly around like that.